When you first get started making candles, it can be really confusing. You're trying to pick out wax and fragrance and wicks and try to match them all up. You're doing all your research. You're reading and reading and reading and you're talking to people and it's just very overwhelming. And then you might get all of your ingredients together and you go to make your first candle and you come across this problem. Well, here's my container and I've got all my stuff. How much wax and fragrance do I put in here? How do I calculate that? How do I know I'm not gonna make too much and then waste it? I mean, we can't waste stuff. Yeah, candle making stuff can be really expensive. We can't do that. So how do we determine that? Well, that's what I'm gonna help you with today. So stick around, guys. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I am with Candio Candle and Candio Candle Supply. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can figure out exactly how much wax and fragrance oil you need in any container you wanna use. All you need is the container you wanna use, a scale, some water, and a pen and paper would probably be handy to write everything down. So let's get started. Okay, so step one, you're gonna take your empty container and you're going to put it on your scale. Make sure your scale's on and set to ounces, and then we're going to tear the scale, which there's a button for that. That just means it's zeroing it out. So it'll say 0, 0.0 ounces. That's what your scale should say. Then next, we're going to add water to this, which I have right back here. We're gonna fill it all the way to the point where you would want wax in the container. So not to the tippy top, leave a little bit of a head space in there, just however full you would fill it with candle wax. Perfect. And in my case, my container holds 14.5 ounces of water. So go ahead and write that number down. That is your water weight. Step number two is you're going to take the water weight that you got in step number one. In my case, it was 14.5 ounces and you're going to multiply it by 0.86. Now the reason we multiply by 0.86 is because wax is approximately 86% as dense as water is. So multiplying your water weight by 0.86 will give you an approximation of how much wax and fragrance oil should go in your candle container. So doing this calculation, 14.50 times 0.86, I get approximately 12.5. I'm rounding, it's just easier to work in round numbers. I would suggest you do the same because it just makes life a little bit easier. So 12.5, now what do we do with that? That tells us how much wax and fragrance oil need to go in here, but how do we figure out how much wax and how much fragrance? Well, that's the next step. So step three is to figure out how much fragrance oil you want to use in your candle. If you're just starting out, I would say 6% is a really great number to work with. It's just easier to wick. It's easier to burn. It, you're just not going to have as many problems. I find like the higher percentages that you go, you're going to have problems more with bleeding. If you don't mix it very well, the wicks are going to be more complicated. You're going to have more mushrooming and things like that. So if you're just starting out, I would, I would stick with 6%. So what we need to do then is convert 6% into a decimal that we can work with. Six is 6% 6 of 100. So it's six divided by 100 and that gives us 0 0.06. If you're doing 7%, it would be 0 0.07, 8%, 0.06. 0 0.08 and so on and so forth. And then what you need to do is add a one to that. One represents the whole pie, which is gonna be like your wax and fragrance oil together. And 0 0.06 represents the fragrance oil because we wanna separate those two things out. So 1.06 gives you that whole. And then we're gonna go on to step four. All right, so step four is to take the number that you got in step two, which is going to be your wax and fragrance oil combined weight. In my case, that was 12.50. And you're going to divide it by your fragrance oil number that we got, which in my case was 1.06. So 12.50 divided by 1.06 is 11 point, I think it's seven, seven, something like that. I'm going to just round it up to 11.80 because it's easier again to work in round numbers. And then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so step five and your final calculation is to take your wax weight that we just got, which was 11.8 in my case, and we're gonna subtract it from the total wax and fragrance oil weight. In my case, that was 12.5. So 12.5 minus 11.8 gives us 
0.70. Now I know that for this container, I need 0 0.70 ounces of fragrance oil and 11.8 ounces of wax. And I should fill it right to where I want it, hopefully. Now what we need to do is test it and see. You think it's gonna work? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so I have 11.8 ounces of wax right here in this little container. Um, this is actually our BW929 soy wax that we carry at Candeo Candle Supply. It's from Blended Waxes. It's really nice, creamy wax. It's a one pour. Um, it's really smooth, it makes really smooth tops. I know a lot of people have problems with other waxes with that. I actually used to use 464. That was my main one for years. And I switched to this one about a year and a half ago. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. The hot throw is amazing. It's just, yeah, that's for another subject. But anyway, um, so I've got 11.8 ounces of wax in here. And to that, I'm going to add 0.7 ounces of fragrance oil. I'm gonna be using Oak Moss and Amber fragrance oil, also from Candeo Candle Supply. Um, let's put this on here. We'll tear this back out again. And Oak Moss and Amber. Oh, it's a very clean scent. Amber, Moss, Sage. Oh. If you like earthy and clean, like like incense almost, maybe not quite like incense, but it's a very nice scent. I would say it's unisex. It's great for relaxing or like bubble bath time. Anyway, let's measure out 0.7. Perfect. I heated this wax to 185, by the way. It is already cooling a little bit, but we're gonna stir it for two minutes and then we're gonna pour it in our container. So I'll be right back. So there you have it, it's that simple. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that calculation down in the description box below and I'll put a slide at the end too. So if you wanna copy it down for future use, it makes it that easy for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a comment down below or you can always email and phone me um, or text me actually. If you can get my contact info at candeocandle.com or candeocandlesupply.com. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something or you know, if it enriched your lives in any way, just please like and subscribe. It really helps us. We're trying to grow this channel. Um, I really wanna be able to help other candle makers out there as they're just getting started. I know how frustrating it was when I first started making candles. I mean, that was like almost 20 years ago now. And all I had was a forum. It was like one forum that we'd go on. We didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Instagram. We didn't have any of that stuff back then. So but there's so many more resources now which I'm not sure actually if it's a help or a hindrance sometimes because you get so much conflicting information out there that it can make it really confusing. So I'm always here to help, uh, ask any questions. I can make videos about them. I can answer them personally either way. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate everybody who follows along and watches the videos. I wouldn't be here without any of you. So thank you so much for that. <sighs> yeah. As always guys, don't be afraid to shine.